We have Lil on Lena, so that Wait, means right. General was playing the Slaughter. Yeah. Oh, and, and H-Fan is dead. H-Fan's gonna run right into a trap. He has absolutely no clue. No, how about that patience? I mean, they're literally just sitting there. I don't know if that's scouting or what. They've seen payment with the movement from other games, but, I mean, are they gonna go for a kill on? They, they couldn't really do that. So, yeah, they're, they're, they see it's TA, and now Dendi will come to middle lane. Yep, exactly. You can see Slardar roam off. I think the biggest thing is Abba's starting armor is so... How he hits creeps and hits the heroes, he has no turn rate. It just takes away his biggest lane mechanic. Top lane, Magic Missile coming in as General rotates in. This is a great setup with the stuns. They kill Luna, they want the second kill on Dazzle. They've already got the really important one. Hero Block is going to come into play. King RD gets your late, but it's just too much damage. A 3 nothing start just like that for Na'Vi. That was a beautiful execution of staggering stuns. DA going back to the jungle for now. We are uh, clearly having uh, a difficult time. 5-4 and four right now in the middle. Magic comes an 8-6 Batrider top lane. Tavo on the Sand King. Oh, that's King RD, excuse me, on the Sand King. Used to seeing Tavo. King RD will be rushed down, though, by the waveform. And they want more out of this. HFN, obviously, he's back up here as well. But probably regretting that decision immediately. LSA will miss, however. Now, he doesn't actually commit the TP because they need their Luna to farm. But the, by faking out the TP twice, it, it saves Weeha's life. Bottom lane. Abaddon, not level 6 yet. So, of course, no borrowed time. And the easy burst damage to take him out. Crystallized credit for the kill right there. So, Tavo, we'll see where he ends up. After this resurrection, perhaps uh, some more movement going to be coming out of pain game. That's true. I just realized, yeah, this is Navi's first game where it's not like guaranteed they're the best Roche team, even with that Cross of Haze, but oh, Tavo still. He's having a tough time down there he now. He is still. How old he is? He, his, his skill set definitely is going to be powerful this game, but he is going to be struggling. Meanwhile, Duster also struggling, just gets run down by General, and you can see that enhanced damage, and goes back to Luna, is having a great time. Nafi, they're going to start moving, though, once again. Dendi, wrapping around the middle lane. Weehaw's not ready for this initially, but the trap's slow. He gets hit by the Magic Missile. There's our first lasso of the game, Lil. The LSA on top also hits the support coming in of the Sand King, and they're going to take out Wee as a result. King RD, he doesn't even burrow strike in the end. It was just too damn late. He's going to use it to try to get away, but that sticky napalm, okay, he will survive. For a blink before he looks for a lasso kill or or not, and we got our answer pretty quickly right there. Race to the top rune. Oh, the slow with the trap. He's gonna he puts on a flame break as King Eddie stuns on him, though. LeBron Dota puts a magic missile on TA. Denny will bottle up that regen, but he's done plenty of trouble. In fact, he's gonna be dead. That was all because they were trying to contest that regen rune. They're not going to. They're going to play this game a lot more passively and just try to avoid these stun ganks. And, well, see you, Duster. Yeah, Duster, you live a good life here. You're going to be dead for now, though. That LSA will land, and Lil gets credit for the kill, making up somewhat. Bottom lane, Sand King, he's running in. He has an epicenter if it comes to it, but this is just a support ventral, so I want to go all out, of course. And doesn't look like any TP support's coming in, so we... We'll finish it off. Indeed, he'll take it. They keep going tier two is the question. Yep. Doesn't look like it. They're TPing back. They, they know him. this is happening. Yeah, they took a little bit so too long. Though. Navi, he's just going to run in on top of He has that borrowed time. He'll use it pretty quickly right here. Roshan's still plenty alive. Weeha starts his auto attacks. Nice uh, blink from Dendi. Looking to respond to Swap. Now, from the front of the last second, crystallized. He's walking away now, trying to find nobody dead just yet. Somehow, the way for two takes over the Abaddon right there. Pops the Aphotic Shield on himself. Save, making some big plays. Looks like they're back now. No, uh, no, no this is actually never mind. <laughs> it's the highlight right here. This is really, was this the miss? No, that was when they hit. This is when they kill weed. Yeah. That first time, so. Yeah, it just feels like uh, now they're gonna get probably get a pretty easy Roshan here. You see some death. Oh, Morphling is dead now. Okay, we we oh, missed a yeah. pretty big chunk of the fight there, but. Well, so the okay. double buyback. Yeah, Lena and Sauter actually pop back right there as well. So unfortunately, not exactly sure how that took place, but they do kill Roshan. Dendi will pick up the eight. It's not the greatest Aegis carrier. Lil, he's dying quickly as we are runs in. In fact, he will die after the fact. Just too much damage coming out. Played Virtus Pro. Yep. They took a game off for them. And yes, you can argue Virtus Pro wasn't necessarily taking it the most seriously, but well, still VP they played well. Yeah, VP will trash other teams even with trolley drafts. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> Uh, we took it. That's the more fun died. So is HFN just going in right now? Yeah. Uh, I believe we had initiation, though, on the TA there. So if we could get back to that as soon as possible. 
she died. Okay. Well, we got her answer. King RD, he's trying to live. Crystallize, waveform forward, and a couple of auto attacks will finish the job there. So, yeah, we also saw going back to that replay once again with the Morphling kill. Uh, King RD on that Sand King hit a hell of a stun to actually set up all that. It's so nice. I mean, obviously, you, you have multiple teams who can do like uh, multiple Sand Kings, but I think this team's one of the best, right? Tavo, a oh, world class yeah. Sand King, King RD. He's good at every hero. He's been around a while. Back lines. We're gonna go for the turn, actually, on it. Well, Sand King will take a bunch of the damage. TA, though, with a refraction up. They've lost Sand King, but they still got plenty of firepower. They've already killed Lena themselves. They had a ward on him. They saw this they whole saw thing. This, yeah. Navi knows. And they and they're setting up TA. Ooh, they saw for a split second there. General, you could just tell General's like, do I go? Do I go? Now Tavo's running at them, and here we go soon. Dandy looking for his lasso target. Trap, slow in the back lines. They go into Tavo initially. Pops for time very aggressively right here. And they're going to pick off Angel 3 and off the bat. There's the lasso, but it's canceled immediately by Dandy. He has to just get the hell out of there. The Eclipse bouncing around on top of that. General's falling. Pain. HF Ben actually, he takes a Laguna Blade, but the Talic Baby's been coming up pretty early. Just in case to make sure to keep him alive. Chris Light, he's plenty taken as well. Dandy caught in the midst of it, though. He's caught by the Burrow Strike. Not enough follow up damage. Wheel finally gets the kill with the auto attack. Gets swapped in. However, pops that melt. They don't have the vision form, it looks like. They're just going to throw out some AoE and hope for the best. HF into the back lines is still fairly low. Duster is also fairly low. Starts to throw a heal. There's a flame break, and now they find the TA. TA once again with the melt. The refraction is back up. Still surviving Duster as well. But down goes TA. Down goes the Dazzle. And ultimately, it works out pretty damn well for Navi. Pain Gaming just started to get really scattered yeah. in the middle of that fight. They did. It looked like you, you saw the TA want to go on the back lines and kill Dendi. Possibly, maybe he thought the Aegis had already run out. Uh, Borrow time very aggressively, but that was all to just get the kill on eventual initially, so kind of looking at yeah. it in hindsight, you know, maybe not the most uh, efficient initiation choice from Pain Gaming. In general, he's going to find what seems to be a free kill. No two, but Crystallize already took your tier two. But Luna's pretty good at CMG. Yeah, and there's a BKB now as well. And they catch Dendi. Dendi has no chance. Oh, maybe he does. He's the last up back. He's going to take TA with him. The unfortunate thing now, TA. Well, okay, TA's actually going to turn. Not going to go for the kill, so Dendi does survive. Ooh. Who's I to doubt him? But that's a that's a big item, too. Uh, blink on your position for Sand King. So mm -hmm. now you don't just have to worry about Tavo going in. More Blink. He morphed into the TA, by the way. So he has a refraction. Nice defensive tool there. He's running in pretty aggressively. Going to go for the quick kill onto the Abaddon. But Borrowed Time, pretty good ability. Keeps him alive, and he happens to hit him to heal him up, actually. Uh, there's items against TA and then a Luna, you could argue. Some things like a Heaven's Halberd comes yep. to mind. Could be pretty powerful. Uh, to potentially pick up, There's but the blink. once again, Dandy, the blink coming to play for Sand King, as mentioned by the swap play as well as the forest tap. He's going to somehow be alive, put the Ghost Scepter up as well, just in case LeBron, they're not going to do everything to save him. And now the game of who's going to actually get Roshan, as we've mentioned, both teams pretty good at doing it. And right now, Pain is in there. Whoa. Doing it fast. Gonna go for a steal, maybe? Uh, yeah. Oh, the timing! No, the Aegis was picked up by Wii, and eventually it just explodes. It ends up being a, or we picking up the ages. Yeah. Yeah, you would probably want it on Luna, I right? Ben, obviously, yeah. So well, at least you got it. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at how quickly they take Rakdos yeah. versus Chris Plus. So he's taking it top. <laughs> not your face. Nah, V, you need to get back. You cannot split push against a Luna. Hate you, with that Desolator as well, they get the stun onto Dendi. It's been difficult to kill him before, and it will continue that way, but the buildings are melting, crystallized. Yeah, he's trying. I, does he not have a TP or something? Cause I mean, this is what he has to do, because LeBron was dead. Uh, he needs to get the racks now, and they can make, they're going for the throne. I love not? it. I was going to say, they could just try to end the game right here, right now. General, big crush stun, but the shield's coming out. They at least might go one tier four. Dendi puts the last one up, and he's going to be stunned immediately himself. He gets a little bit of distance, but dies really after. He has a flyback crystallized, popping the BKB. The Eclipse is passing around. General, he's feeling from that. General may have fallen. Chris Light gets a pick up with the backlines on the Dazzle. They take out the Aegis on Wii. So he's going to be coming up in just a couple of seconds. Aegis has plenty of life still. However, Wii will fall after the Aegis Resurrection. So he's dead for a minute. Buyback is ready if they feel the need for it. Tavo running away. No more borrowed time. TP. He actually escapes. Wow. And you're fine, yeah. You're not forced to buy back here because you know, I mean, they seems to be that way. They're smoked up around HFN. I mean, good luck killing this target, it feels like. <laughs> He has plenty of support. He's getting these uh, buffs from TV. It's plenty full. They get the initiation of in LeBron on the quick swap, but he's going to be bursting down a court. Jesus. Buyback is ready. Dendi almost dies. Somehow, four steps away, though, will manage to live. There's that That's fortification. Crystallize. He has to just simply walk back swift over to strength. He goes in for the waveform clear on the creep wave. But now he takes over TA. Doing some decent damage to Abaddon, but not nearly enough. He still has that borrow time. In fact, here comes the upside of Great BKB reaction, though. We are sitting on top with the physical damage. But Crystallize is able to take it for the time being. Get away from Fort Weeha, though. Getting support from his down. 
Dazzle, as well as the Abaddon. He also has the Luna Glaze are bouncing around. The Eclipse is used as well. Crystallize is gonna get caught in the stun, and he will end up falling. Has the immediate buyback, but the meanwhile, the Ancient's also dying. Shepard. You see Luna looking to focus it, takes a southern from General with that crush. Eight defense, right click of the Ancient. Pain Gaming gonna try to finish game one, and they absolutely will. Game one going the way of Pain. They're leading now 1 0. God, I, that was. I know you talk about usually all oh, these supports, they, they did great, they enabled the core. I'll be honest, this, this was an HFN game. Like, I, I thought the supports did.